Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can change many characteristics of the appearance of all or any part of the text within your document. You can change appearances such as the font that's used for the text and the size of the text. You can also do things such as bold the text, apply italics, or underline text as well as change its alignment within the page on your document. Before you can apply any of these changes, however, you must first select the text that you would like to affect. Click and drag over the text in order to select it. The text that is selected will then receive the changes that you make to its appearance. Unselected text will not be affected. Once the text is selected, you can click on any of the buttons shown in the formatting toolbar in order to apply changes to the text. Font would be the first selection in the formatting toolbar. You can click the drop down box to see or select the particular font that you would like to have your text appear using. So this changes the face of your text. So you can see that's a different font. So just select the font that you would like to use from the list. Next is font size, and you can click this drop down to select a larger or smaller font size. Font size is indicated in points, with each point being about 1 72nd of an inch. A standard font size would be 12. You can then click the bold button to bold the text. You can also click again on the selected or bolded text to remove bolding to toggle it on and off. Basically use the same button. Same thing with italics. Click to turn it on, click to turn it off. Also with underline. You can click the font color button to open a color selector and change the color of the selected text. Clicking any one of the three alignment buttons will change the alignment or placement of the selected paragraph. It can appear at the left, the center of the page, or the right side. If you would like to apply bulleting to a list, select the list that you would like to bullet and then click the bullet button to apply bulleting. Once again, you can also click it to take it off. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachyoucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!